Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. So I went ahead and started pulling out some cards and this is crazy looking. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and um start recording so you guys could see the rest as it comes out. And I thought I brought my bucket in here with the flashcard, but I don't see it, so I guess I won't be using those. Okay, so what I'm getting though is something is going down at somebody's job here with this eight of coins. All right, we got the Hermit with the Eight of Coins, and it's like, that's Virgo energy. So, I feel like somebody knows something that's going on at a job here. Somebody is seeing something. Somebody's seeing some kind of exchange here with this Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Coins. Okay, somebody's seeing something exchanged here. And it's on, it's on some kind of sneaky stuff. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so again, we got the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Tower. It's like somebody's seeing something. Somebody could have been blocked from something here. And I'm getting that somebody made an offer to somebody that was turned down with this Four of Cups, the Fool, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aries. Okay, so, yeah, but it looks like somebody made an offer here. Now, somebody could have been in a marriage and just been bored or something. I don't know what's going on. But, so, this offer was made here. We come from this Four of Cups here to the Ace of Pentacles. And you see, like, there's this hand coming, and then there's this hand coming down. Okay, this could have been a friend or co-worker, okay, with this Page of Pentacles that seeing some kind of message being exchanged or seeing something being exchanged i'm saying message because we got this letter looking thing here all right um now it don't have to it don't have to be a message it's just something was seen here with this judgment card um something was seen or, or somebody made an offer and it's almost like giving me like uh harassment vibes okay so now we got the Ten of Swords with the Moon here, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Uh, something that was supposed to be over is not over, possibly, or maybe something did end with this Ten of Swords and the Moon. The Moon over here again. Something is definitely being hidden here, and there could be somebody that's blackmailing somebody. Now I don't know if this is, I don't know who it is, y'all. So this could be a situation you're observing at work or somebody that you know is is going on with them at work or it's going on with you at work but we got temperance here with the eight of swords and the seven of cups and i feel like something's coming into something's balancing out here or with the temperance card sagittarius energy it's like your angels uh and ancestors your spirit team seeing something going on here somebody's wanting to speak their truth about a situation i'm seeing this blue in this uh card and it's making me think of a throat chakra um yeah and this card too somebody's wanting to speak their truth about something here okay or bring out the truth about something but they feel held back okay now with the seven of cups somebody could be really trying to confuse somebody so they won't know what's going on all right with the full 2.0 i got the feeling that this is something that's been going on okay it's like it's been going on and somebody's, I don't know, somebody seems to be falling right into a trap, to be honest. Okay, so we got imprisonment with gift, false person, unexpected income, and poverty. And so what I was getting here with this offer is like somebody, somebody made an offer to somebody, okay, and... With the false person and unexpected income and poverty, I'm getting that somebody's being blackmailed. Okay, for some kind of exchange that was seen, you know, somebody could be like, well, I'm going to tell the boss or I'm going to tell, you know, that person's husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, something like that is going on, y'all. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some more tarot, I guess, because I'm thinking about just going to get my little bucket y'all hold on do you want yeah i want to get it okay i hope this camera don't go flying off okay one second you guys bear with me please i thought i brought it in here okay <coughs> Okay, I got 
Okay, so let's get, we'll get more specific with it, with the, the red bowl. All right. Now, these messages from this, these are random messages. Some of them could resonate. Maybe a few, maybe none of them, maybe all of them. Okay. Okay, so something could have happened in December. Somebody's becoming mentally unstable. So this could be this co-worker, okay? And somebody also, I'm getting another thing, is that somebody thought, with this Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Swords here, maybe it was that somebody thought that they, okay, somebody also could have thought that they were getting an, an offer from somebody that they didn't get, okay? That's another thing I was getting. Okay, you will see a stray cat. Something about cats. Criminal neighbors. Number 10. Somebody wants you to chase them. <laughs> Somebody's got a big ego. August could be significant. Soon you will get the recognition you deserve. The letter M or W could be significant. The letter V. F. Number 8. And then we got W or M again. Oh, crap. My fingernails look. I'm sorry, y'all. I think I got some uh, sauce up under my nails. <laughs> yeah, I was just eating a minute ago. <laughs> okay. Somebody could work for the government or on a military base or something. Could be in the military. Brown eyes. February could be significant. Somebody could have curly hair. Your birthday could be significant. Somebody's a bot. Okay, influencer. And then military again. Wednesday. Sagittarius. Shorter. Green eyes. They got a tarot reading done on your connection with someone else. Somebody could be an editor. The letter P. Oh my gosh. Yes, I definitely got some sauce up under my nails. Okay, number 16. The letter M or W again. Number 15. Z or N. Somebody wears sunglasses a lot. Got straight hair. Okay, Divine Feminine Energy. Somebody is either a chef or they like to cook a lot. Okay, you could have some heavy uh, chemistry with somebody here. Z or N could be significant again. Uh, letter K and U. Alright, so, so let's get some more tarot because for one thing we don't even have any um characters really yet there's no kings or queens or anything which i thought was kind of curious too because it's like something is so secretive here we got the moon twice with the seven of swords something is so secretive and hidden that i haven't even picked up the energies of who this is about yet so what do they need to know give me some um some more <laughs> Some cards that will let us know who, what a better description of who this is. Okay, we got somebody in player energy here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Don't have to be those signs. Okay, Page of Swords. It did flip over in reverse. We'll see if it should come out in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person could be a player that's an air sign or a fire sign. Okay, um, now somebody is letting go of something here or making a judgment call on this player, okay? Somebody could have decided, um, not to give this person any more energy. This could have been somebody that you work with, okay? Or just a situation that you're observing. This could be a friend situation you're seeing here, all right? With the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, um... 
I'm getting that there could be somebody that's wanting to come forward and tell you or somebody here the truth about a situation. All right. Could be about a Gemini, Virgo. Okay. Okay. So what do they need to know? The Ace of Wands here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Okay. The Tower with the Knight of Swords. I'm getting this energy of somebody possibly being used here. Uh, somebody possibly getting what they wanted from somebody here with this Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and then basically taking off. Okay, that's caused some anger here. 11, 11 on the clock. That's caused some anger, some resentment. Somebody thought more was coming with this situation, and it didn't here. Uh, with the Two of Cups and the Lovers and the Five of Cups. Somebody's crying over spilled milk. Here we got the King of Swords. What is going on? What do they need to know? Okay, so somebody is hiding their feelings here. So with the Six of Pentacles, there could be just like there's, a, there's some kind of hidden secret affair going on here, all right? The two of wands, or this is what somebody's looking to do, trying to do. So, you could um, be working with somebody who is, you need to be aware of, okay? Because they have this uh, tendency to love on people. Um, and then we got the ace of cups with the world here. Okay, what else? <laughs> yes, it's like love bombing and then ghosting or walking away, 12, 12 on the clock. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles here, so somebody just needing to protect their energy. But like I said, for somebody out there, there is like this third party person who is coming to tell the truth about somebody. Okay, so that could get crazy. Um, Let's see. Let's get some from the Rebel deck. All right. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What else do they need to know? You are talented and amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay, somebody could be experiencing some throat chakra uh, issues here. Wanting to speak their truth about something. All right. Drop the ego. Vulnerability is hot. <laughs> Money. Make it rain. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could have thought uh, they were going to get some money or financial stability out of a situation. Whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. They broke your heart. F them. Okay, so... This, uh, somebody here has definitely got their heart broken. Now, this could be you. You could be the person who's thinking about coming forward and telling, you know, somebody something here. All right. You're giving too many Fs. Give zero. Let's get one more. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Okay. <coughs> So, like I was saying, I'm going to get a couple from the, uh, let's see, I forget what this deck's called, shit. <laughs> Let me shoot, sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the Art of War, I believe. Okay, yeah, because this is, choose well, then give it everything you've got. Okay, learn to tell good advice from bad. Evolution, not revolution. So what I'm getting with that is that, um, you know, maybe somebody was giving some bad advice here or something like that. Okay, let's get one more. Choose your friends carefully and learn your lessons. Okay, somebody, maybe the... I don't know if somebody was giving bad advice or what the case may be, but somebody was definitely probably talking to the wrong person. Um, so somebody has observed something, seen something, and 
y'all see where it's hard for me to tell which person in the scenario I'm talking to because you could be somebody who's observing all this like okay I see some foul stuff going on and I'm gonna tell somebody or you could be um there could be definitely somebody here who's acting like a friend but they're not they're just gathering information here to go back and tell somebody else um so that's what i got for y'all on this one i hope it helped in some kind of way or it was just entertaining whatever the case may be thank you for watching and i hope you come back again bye